Let's make some plant-based Starbucks Cranberry Bliss Bars. Welcome back to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill and today we're gonna make these delicious Cranberry Bliss Bars. But first, Jeff and I just wanna give a big thank you to all of our supporting members. We really appreciate your support throughout the years. So let's jump into these bars. So I made this version, this healthier version, of the Starbucks Cranberry Bliss Bars because they're so delicious, but man, they are packed with sugar. And this is a healthier version because we're using dates as the natural sweetener. So first we're going to make the frosting so that it can sit up while our bars are baking. So I've got one cup of cashews, a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of lemon juice, a third of a cup of dates and three quarters of a cup of water. And we're just going to blitz this up in our Nutribullet here until those cashews are completely pulverized and that frosting is silky smooth. Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna set this aside and let it sit up and thicken a bit while our bars are cooking. So I'm gonna get our ingredients out for the bars and I'll show you how to get it together. Whether you are new to a plant-based diet or are a seasoned home chef, it can be a welcome relief to have someone else do the cooking at the end of a busy day. Whole Harvest is a meal delivery service offering nationwide shipping of authentic whole food plant-based meals that are oil-free and low in sodium with no added sugar. All meals are chef prepared fresh and come ready to eat in vacuum sealed containers so you can just pop open the container, heat and eat with no additional meal prep or cooking required. Simply choose your favorites from a wide variety of meals to create your weekly delivery box. It's that easy. As a special discount for our viewers, use code PLANTBASEDEASY at checkout to save $30 off your first order. Okay, so let's get these bars made. So I'm gonna start with a half a cup of rolled oats. I'm gonna put it in our food processor and just grind it just a bit, just to get it into a smaller uh, grind before we mix the rest of our ingredients. Okay, now we're gonna put in the rest of our ingredients. So this is two cups of almond flour, a half a cup of pitted dates, I'm sorry, one cup of pitted dates, a half a cup of cranberries, these are dried cranberries, a teaspoon of vanilla, a half teaspoon of ginger powder, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, and that's gonna kinda give it that buttery flavor like a regular pastry crust would have. Then I've got a teaspoon of orange zest, and then I have a fourth of a cup of soy milk, but we're not gonna put that in yet. That's gonna go in towards the end just to get everything to stick together. So we're gonna start out by pulsing and then we're gonna mix it on just regular speed just till everything starts to come together and have a consistency batter look. Or not batter, like a dough. Now once you see everything is consistently ground, now we're gonna use our soy milk. We're just gonna drizzle it in slowly. Okay, there we go. Now we have a really nice looking dough here. And you can still see the bits of cranberry in there. It makes it so pretty. All right, so now I have a brownie pan here. So it's about, you know, nine by nine or eight and a half by eight and a half. It really doesn't, you don't have to be exact in that size. It's just easier to do it in a square dish so that we can take it out with our parchment here. I'm just gonna crumple my parchment. Just so it's easier to press down into my dish. All 
All right, now we're just gonna pour all this in our pan. And you're just gonna press this in with your fingers. It is a little bit sticky, but that's okay. You're just trying to get it all kind of an even thickness on the bottom. Okay, there we go. And the top doesn't have to look perfect because it's going to have the frosting when we get finished. So I, my oven is already preheated to 350 degrees and we're gonna stick it in there for 25 minutes. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of free printable recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy cookbook series, are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting membership community. So if you love our recipes, I invite you to join us on our mission to make plant-based cooking easy and follow the link in the description to become a supporting member today. There's no denying the plant-based diet is a nutrient powerhouse, but did you know there are a handful of hard-to-get nutrients even well-crafted diets are often lacking? The latest research suggests that complementing your diet with a few specific vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s will help boost your energy and keep you thriving for the long term. That's why my daily health routine includes Complement Essential. Complement Essential contains the eight critical nutrients lacking from most plant-based diets in dosages optimized specifically for us. As a special discount for our viewers, just use code PLANTBASEDEASY at checkout to save 15% off of your order. Okay, our bars are out of the oven, and I'm just gonna transfer them onto a cutting board so that we can frost them. So I'm just gonna slide this off of the paper. I did let them cool for about, about 10 to 15 minutes just so that it doesn't totally melt your frosting. All right, so here's our frosting. It's set up really nice. It's much thicker than it was. And this is up to you how much you use. You don't have to use the whole amount if you don't want to. Just depends on your frosting needs. So you're just gonna frost this pretty evenly across the top. I'll use just a little bit more. Okay. I have just a little bit left and that's always good. You know, if you're making your oatmeal in the morning, you can sprinkle a little bit of that, a little frosting on it just for a little bit of sweetness. It's just nuts and dates, right? So now we have, uh, it's about a quarter of a cup of cranberries that I chopped up just a little bit finer and you're just gonna sprinkle them on the top. And this is up to you too, how many you use. It's kind of just to make it look pretty and festive. So I'm gonna use just about all of them. Okay, if you wanna come in and take a look before we cut into these, and then I'll meet you at the table for a taste. Okay, let's try these out. I'm just gonna cut off a little corner. And if you wanna make them look just like the Starbucks ones, you can cut them in the neat little triangles that they have, they usually serve them in. Oh, look at that. Oh. Mmm. Moist and a little bit tart. And you can taste that or orange zest in there. Mmm. You are going to love it. Come on back next week for another great recipe.